we want to integrate this uh, uh, rational function first splitting them into a uh, partial fraction and then we are going to integrate so the first part is to split this into partial fraction okay now as the denominator is a quadratic function or uh, is a cubic function you have x minus 2 squared which is quadratic to write split them into quadratic uh, into partial fraction this is a form so I say well this is a over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 3 x minus 3 x minus 3 plus c over x minus 3 the whole squared okay so now making the denominators equal so let me write this in the bracket so this is 9 minus x over x minus 1 times x minus 3 the whole squared my pen gets stuck it's getting stuck here so this is x minus 3 the whole squared so if you want to make the denominators equal so let me write the common denominator is nothing but x minus 1 times x minus 3 the whole squared okay so what should I multiply the first fraction by so here you have an x minus 1 and uh, you have to multiply a by x minus 3 the whole squared so i'm going to multiply this by so this is a times x minus 3 the whole squared plus b you have got an x minus 3 but you have x minus 3 squared yeah but you don't have x minus 1 so this has to be multiplied by x minus 1 times x minus 3 this has x minus 3 the whole squared but so c has to be multiplied by x minus 1 so the denominators are equal so let me change color so i can write the numerator can be compared so i can say 9 minus x is equal to a times x minus 3 the whole squared plus b times x minus 1 times x minus 3 plus c times x minus 1 I'm calling this equation 1 so let us expand and to compare the left with the right so can I write this as 9 minus x is equal to okay so I'm only interested in I don't want to do the whole expansion so this I can see I can see this is if you expand this this is x squared minus 6x plus 9 and here you will have an x squared so can I say this there will be a x squared from here you can get a x squared from here and you get b x squared from here that's all I need okay I'm not interested in the others so whatever that is okay so comparing so can I say 9 minus x is equal to a plus b times x squared plus something I don't know what that is I don't I'm not interested plus times x plus something okay that's not what we want so when you compare the left hand side and the right hand side what can you see that on the left hand side there's no term of x squared so I can say a plus b has to be zero a plus b has to be zero that's all we need okay now to get to, get to the value of a b and c of course you can expand this and then you can solve equation but there's a neat way of doing this by letting by letting uh, x is equal to suppose let me let x is equal to 3 okay so you may wonder how do I know to let 3 so I'm saying let x is equal to 3 now how, how why did it take 3 because I want to make this 0 okay I want to make this 0 I want to make this 0 by letting x is equal to 3 you can basically cancel a and b okay does it work yes it does 
So what happens? This implies 9 take away, 9 take, let me write this. So, so 9 minus 3 is equal to, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. And this is C times 3 minus 1. So this is 6 is equal to 2C. So C is equal to 3, just like that. We'll confirm this. You don't need to worry. So this C will be 2. C will be 3. Okay. So what should I let the next number x to be? Okay, look at the equation or look at this equation 1. I can say I can become, I can make this b and c 0. I can eliminate b and c by letting x is equal to, let me change color. So let x is equal to 1. This is a neat way of doing this. Let x is equal to 1. This implies, I can say 9 minus 1 is equal to this p and c will become 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 times anything is 0. This is also 0. So this becomes a times uh, what is x? x is 1. 1 minus 3 the whole squared. Okay. So 9 minus 1 is 8 and this is 4a. So a is equal to 2. Now we know a plus b is equal to 0. Now a plus b is equal to 0. So if a is 2, b is negative 2. So does this work? So let us check whether this works. Okay. So let us put this back into this equation. So what did we write? So we got a is, what was a? So let us see a is 2 b is negative 2, a is 2, b is negative 2, and c is 3. So what is that we wrote? Okay, we said that this is equal to this. So let us write that again, just to confirm whether this works. So I can, what, I, what we have said is 9 minus x over x minus 1, times x minus 3 the whole squared, x minus 3 the whole squared, x minus 3, x minus 3 the whole squared is equal to a over what? a over x minus 1. Your a is 2, so this is 2 over x minus 1 plus b over x minus 3. That is minus 2 over x minus 3 plus c over, so that is 3 over x minus 3, the whole squared. So let us expand or simplify the right-hand side. x minus 3, the whole squared. Okay, so what will happen? So I'm not writing the left-hand side. So this is nothing but 2 times, you have to multiply this by, you got x minus 3, the whole square as a denominator, the common denominator is x minus 1 times x minus 3, the whole square. So this has to be multiplied by x minus 3, the whole square. Plus and minus is minus 2 times, you have to multiply this by x minus 1 times x minus 3. And this has to be multiplied by 3 times x minus 1. Okay, so what happens? So this is 2 times, expanding this will become x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 2 times, this will expand to x squared, this is minus 1x minus 3x is minus 4x plus 3 and this is plus 3x minus 3. So I'm not writing the denominator, so we are only checking the numerator because the denominator, so let me write that, doesn't matter. So this is x minus 1 times x minus 3, the whole squared. So let us expand the left hand, uh, again, the numerator. So this is 2x squared minus 12x plus 18. 
I'm going to write this underneath. So this is minus 2x squared. This is minus 2 times. So this is plus 8x. And this is minus 6. And I've got plus 3x here. Minus 3. So what will happen? So this is over, of course, you've got x minus 1 times x minus 3, the whole squared. So what happens? So this and this gets cancelled. So this is equal to, let me use a bright color. So this is minus, minus 12x. So this is plus 11x. Minus 12x is minus x. And this is 18 minus 9 is plus 9. And that's what we started with over x minus 1 times, oops, x minus 1. We are almost there. So this is x minus 1 times x minus 3 the whole squared, which is what your left hand side is, which is 9 minus x over x minus 1 times x minus 3 the whole squared. So let us now integrate this. Okay. So the question is now integrate 9 minus x over x minus 1 times x minus 3 the whole squared. So this is same as integration of what is this equal to is this is 2 over x minus 1 minus 2 over dx of course minus 2 over b was minus 2 minus 2 over x minus 3 and c was 3 i keep forgetting the number so plus c plus 3 over x minus 3 the whole squared and of course dx here so this is the neat thing about partial fraction so this is nothing but you can distribute the integration this is integration of 2 times 1 over x minus 1 x minus 1 dx you can factor out the minus 2 out so minus 2 times integration of 1 over x minus 3 plus 3 times integration of x minus 3 instead of writing 1 over x minus 3 squared I can write integration of x minus 3 to the whole power negative 2 dx so you can distribute the integration to each of them okay so this is using of course this is natural log so this is nothing but 2 natural log of modulus of x minus 1 minus 2 times natural log of x minus 3 and here when you're integrating so this is plus 3 times x minus 3 so you'd increase this by 1 so minus 2 plus 1 okay integration of a power is you increase the power by 1 and divide by the same power. That is minus 2 plus 1. So you can simplify this. So this is nothing but 2 natural log of x minus 1 over, using the log rule, x minus 3. And this is negative 1. So this is minus 3. Uh, and this is to the power negative 1 so minus 3 over x minus 3 is uh, plus of course the constant of integration x minus 3 plus c which is the constant of integration